Hello and welcome! It's Mike for Mixpix Visuals. Uh, really excited to bring you one of the larger tutorials that I'm, uh, I've made. It's been in the making for a while, uh, a lot of preparation to be made, and it's, since it's huge, a uh, bigger threshold to start making it. Anyway, carrot customizations, don't we love it? Like, uh, I could spend 40 minutes uh, customizing my character and maybe 10 minutes just playing the game. Doesn't matter, it's really important uh, to get that. Um, to get it just like you want it, so you can uh, you can bond with your character, really. Uh, and I always love that part of the games, of all games. Uh, think of World of Warcraft, think of uh, Skyrim, think of The Sims, think of uh, Need for Speed Underground. It's not really character customization, but I've always wanted to make one of those systems where you can like uh, switch out parts and style your car and everything. I remember I made a Flash game when I was maybe five years old or something. No, not that young, but uh, kind of. And it was and it sucked, uh, but I I always lacked the tools to be able to create it, and now I have the tools to create it, uh, and therefore I'd like to share with you uh, these tools to create such a system. If you also dream of what I have dreamt of for so many years, um, so this is it. Uh, we're gonna make a tutorial where we create this scene. This scene is inspired by the World of Warcraft character customization. We will not go over setting up the 3D scene. Uh, like the orc in the desert and the particles and everything and lighting. We will set up the UI uh, with the buttons and the labels and we will hook it up to code that we will write uh, which will handle functions to switch out hair and beards and tusks and hair color and skin color. Uh, these are the five parameters we will play with today. You can of course do whatever you like. Uh, this is just uh, an example. Uh, we will also hook up a randomize button to uh, uh, switch between different kinds of uh, like uh, setups if you don't have any idea of what you want to do or you need some inspiration. Uh, we will also uh, create a save function. Uh, we will not create a save function that will actually, you know, be specific to oh, now it applies in the game, but we will create a dictionary which is a, a data collection with the with the data that contains the appearance data, so uh, then you can do whatever you want with that dictionary in your game. Uh, so that's that's the most uh, generic uh, interface that I can provide, provide you with. Uh, so I will assume that you have some knowledge in uh, coding. Uh, this will not be basic syntax, we will do it in C Sharp. Uh, we will also be using NGUI for the, uh, for the UI setup. Uh, why do we do it in NGUI? Uh, because I noticed there aren't a lot of a uh, lot of tutorials about NGUI, so I thought I'd shed some light on NGUI. NGUI is a is a standalone, it's a third party plugin uh, UI software um, that I use when I work, uh, where I work. So we will use that. It's it's similar to you uh, the uh, built in UGUI, UGUI Unity GUI. Uh, but not exactly. Uh, but I think that if you don't have NGUI, you can still follow this tutorial uh, and you can uh, skip to part three. Basically, part two will be part one is introduction, part two will be setting up the UI, part three will be the actual coding and uh, creating the functions. So if you don't want to, don't feel like setting up the UI and NGUI or whatever, you can just skip to part three and hopefully it'll, it'll make sense. Um, so yeah, that's what, uh, what what this is. We will go through the project setup, what we have here. So, um, there's a scene. Uh, there's this naked guy holding an imaginary spear. Uh, he's standing in a desert. I think the HDR is from Grand Canyon. Um, there's a couple of particles and fog and stuff around him. Um, and that's the scene, basically. Uh, in, uh, as well as in the scene, there's the... UI root, which contains all the uh, UI elements. Uh, we will recreate all this from scratch except for the 3D scene. Um, what I also have done is I have created prefabs uh, for the different uh, hairstyles, beards, and tusks we will be using. Uh, I do not know, I have some weird version of Unity where in the preview it's shown stuff that doesn't exist, uh, but don't worry about that. These are prefabs, and they basically just contain. Uh, the mesh with the material on it and the correct, you know, scale, transform, uh, position, rotation on it. Um, so basically it's just a mesh, but I added as a prefab to have better control of it, because working with prefabs is a good thing in Unity. Um, 
Yes, uh, so there's the prefabs, it's just good to know uh, that we will have those and we have uh, we will link those to a script later. Uh, we are using NGUI, as I said, uh, so you need that in your project to follow this tutorial 100%. Uh, we have set up all our uh, sprites that we will be using for this in one atlas, uh, which is here. Uh, so it's just uh, four sprites, basically. Uh, we will go over how to create this later, but we will use one sprite. Uh, sorry, one atlas. Uh, I also have two anchors in the scene uh, for play where where we will place the beards and the hairs. Uh, so I have a uh, hair anchor that is attached to the skull bone, like the head bone of the orc. Uh, so we will uh, move along with the orc. I also have one uh, jaw anchor, which is uh, for the beards and the tusks, uh, to make sure that if he you know opens his mouth, they would follow along. So I don't want it attached to the head. Uh, hair anchor uh, yeah so that's the introduction uh, now uh, time for part two let's uh, create some UI <laughs> 